If you ever think of buying good quality meat at unbeatable price, think Magilac Butchers, your only suitable solution for quality meat for you and your family consumption. Our comprehensive range of meat products include minced meat, beef slices, top side, knuckle, rump steak, silver side, tenderloin, strip loin, and four quarter. We offer consistent value, quality, and service through animals grass-fed and bred especially for their meat. This makes the meat much more tasty, succulent, tender, and easy to cook. All meats at Magilic Butchers are halal, including for the first time in the Gambia, the new Mongolian whole lamb, available only at Magilic Butchers. Rush now and visit Magilic Butchers on Caraba Avenue, opposite the Petrogas petrol station traffic lights. For inquiries and orders, please call 76 88688. That is 768 Magilic Butchers, the home of quality meat and chicken products at unbeatable prices. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Hi, my name is Buba Gajigo and you're watching Kerfadu. This is your educational program and we're going to bring you junior school lessons. Get your kids prepared by giving them pen, pencil, or a book. I hope you'll enjoy these lessons. Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties.
children and staff of Mary's Little Lamb School are contributing this song to help in the fight and sensitization of coronavirus in the Gambia. Dear children, please listen to doctors' advices and the Ministry of Health to help stop the spread of this virus. Avoid handshakes. Avoid social gatherings. Wash your hands always with soap and clean water. Stay at home. And if anyone around you is suspected of having the virus, the number to call is 1025. 1025. Hello, children. Hello, Is Coronavirus really dangerous? Yes, it is. Coronavirus dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Coronavirus dangerous. Yes, it is, my children. <laughs> Zekigo, can I please go fishing with you? And why do you want to go fishing? I want to catch two fish to raise at home. 
What do you really think you are ready for it? What do you think is harder, fishing or raising fish? I am talking about fishing, Koba. But if you pay attention, you can learn. Let me pack everything into the boat, then we can go. Hmm? Is that okay? How many fish do you think we are going to catch today? Hey, Koba, my boy. How can we possibly know how many fish we'll catch until we've actually gone fishing? I mean, we could catch a few, or we could catch a lot. But don't you worry, Koba. However many we catch, we'll split, eh? Half and half. What? Half and half? Does that mean we'll cut each fish into two pieces? Ah, Koba, my boy. Half doesn't always have to mean cutting something in two. It can also mean taking a group of things and dividing them into two equal groups. So you take one, and I take one. And you take one, and then I take one. Until they're all finished. You understand? Ah, I get your name, Zokigo. Oh, okay. And you're going to learn a lot more today, my boy. A lot more. Wow! You have to go really far out to sea to get these fish, eh, Mzikigo? What would happen if the boat sank? Do you know how to swim? You ask too many questions, Koba. And of course I know how to swim. Now, Koba, you count out the fish while I pull in this net. Let's see just how many fish we caught, huh? Okay, Mzekigo, there are five fish. Well, that's plenty, Koba. Why don't we head back and split them? Okay, but remember, we're splitting them half and half. Let's get back to shore and then we can split them half and half. Oh, that was a long trip, Koba. But now that we're back, let's divide up these fish. You're a strong young boy. I'll let you do all the work, okay? So you divide them into two equal groups. One for you and one for me. I understand you, Zekigo. One fish here, one fish there, second fish here, a second fish there, a third fish here, but there's nothing left to put there. Zekigo, I've got two groups of fish and one leftover fish. What should I do? So, how many fish does each group have? Hmm? Each group has two fish, and there's one fish remaining. You said there are two groups of two fish and one remaining, huh? So, we've divided five by two and we get two groups of two with a remainder of one. So you throw that lucky one fish back in the sea. Ah, sure. So now, everything is fine and dandy, Koba. You see, you've got four fish now. And you've divided them into even groups with none left over. Now we can say that I've got half and you've got half. You see, we each have two fish. Oh, okay. Which means we each have half of four, which is two, right? And now we're getting somewhere, Koba. Now, as an example, hmm? if we had eight fish, how many would each of us get? Hmm? Mm, four and four, right? That's right, Koba. You understand the meaning of half. So, tell me, what is half of six? Half of six is three. Well done, Koba. Now you go home with your two fish, and I'll take mine, okay? Say hello to everyone at home. Thanks, Mzekigo. I'm coming back tomorrow, okay? Good morning, Mzekigo. Hey, good morning. Mzekigo, this is my little brother. He wants to learn how to fish too. Can he come along today? No problem. 
What's his name? It's Baraka. Ah, Baraka. Mr. Baraka, welcome. Thank you. Okay, now, Koba. It's now time to divide up the fish. But don't just do what you did yesterday, eh? Because today we have three people and eight fish. Baraka, divide them up. One here, one there, and one over there. A second here, a second there, and a second over there. A third here, a third there, and ah! There are no more! Those two fish got lucky. Throw them back in the water. So tell me. What was the remainder? Okay, well we have three groups, and in each group there are two fish, with two remaining. So, if you divide eight by three, you get two with a remainder of two. Yes, you're right. But, Mr. Kigo, mm -hmm. yesterday we said we're dividing them half and half. But what about today? <laughs> Listen here, boys. If you divide something into three equal groups, we call each of those groups a third. Today, we got eight fish, but we threw two back so that we could divide them into equal groups. Mm -hmm. Eight minus two is six. Then we divided those six amongst three people. So, we each take two fish home. So what is one-third of six, Barak? One-third of six is two. Well done, Baraka. Now I have a question for you, Koba. What's one-third of nine? One-third of nine is three. Very good, Koba. Nice. Now I'm a fish farmer, and I've got myself four fish. Pretty soon, I'm going to be a fish billionaire. 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 Look, you guys have gotten big. Soon you'll be bigger than me. Hey, Koba, when do you start raising fish? Don't you know? These fish are going to make me a billionaire. Can you look after them for a bit while I go get them? Sweet! Ah, Kimena! You're the coolest girl in the world! Thank you! Thanks, Koba! Asante-san! 
was your fish today? When did you start talking? We've always talked. We just didn't think you cared. Yeah, you just want to use us to get rich. You're just using us for your own profit, man. We need to have a talk, brother. Whoa, you guys are right, but I'm really sorry. What can I do to make up for it? Find us a bigger house, man. <laughs> okay. So guys, how's this house? Is it big enough for you? Now that's what we're talking about. Yeah, this is perfect. It is sweet. We are so happy to be swimming free. We are so happy to be swimming free. In the water we play with us a single day. In the water we play with us a single day. We divide ourselves up into eco groups. Each one is a half. We divide ourselves up into eco groups. Each one is a half. Each one is a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We divide ourselves up into eco groups. Each one is a half. We divide ourselves up into eco groups. Each one is a half. Each one is a half.
Chura. Eh? What are you laughing about? Ah, ha, ha. We've been singing about fractions. You know all about fractions, don't you, Mama Dege? Ah, well, of course I do. What fractions were you singing about? Well, we sang about halves. Do you know the meaning of musu? That's how you say one half in Swahili. Ah, that's right. And we write one half like this. The top number is called the numerator. And the bottom number is called the denominator. Numerator, denominator. Numerator, denominator. In Kiswahili, we call the top number Kiasi. And we call the bottom number Asili. Kiasi, Asili. Numerator, denominator. Let's show them an example, Mama Dege. Look at this tangerine. How many sections does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight pieces. I hit one out of eight pieces. And so one is the numerator. And eight is the denominator. This section, we call it one eighth. It just means one piece out of eight pieces. Do you get it, Dajura? You ate one piece out of eight total pieces. The total number of pieces are eight. And you ate one piece. That is one eighth. Look here at the denominator. It is eight, the total number of pieces in the whole. You ate one, so that is the numerator. So what fraction is there left? Seven eighths are left. Do you know the meaning of seven eighths, Dajura? We have still got seven out of those eight original pieces. So what is that called? In Kiswahili, we'd say Sabayanani. In English, seven eighths. I've got a little pumpkin, and my friend has her own pumpkins. I want to mix them up together, but she won't, so I go off alone. Tiny Tambo, <laughs> you are a clever kid. I love your song, but what does it mean? Hey, Tiny Tambo. Hey, Tiny Tambo. Uh, Mama and <laughs> I didn't even see you. I was lost in my thoughts. Where are you going with your little song? <laughs> That's a nice song. Let me try to sing it. <laughs> I've got a little pumpkin. And my friend has her own pumpkins. <laughs> I want to mix them up together. But she won't. So I go off alone. <laughs> it is a great song. But what does it mean? My friend and I got pumpkins. My friend had three and I had one. I wanted to cook them together, but she didn't want to. So I just left. <laughs> uh, okay, I get it. But why did you want to mix them? I wanted to mix them together, then split it half and half like this. My friend and I together had four pumpkins. If we split them half and half, then I would get two pumpkins and she would get two pumpkins. And we call that half and half. Where did you learn about halves, Tiny Tembo? I know about more than halves. I know about quarters. I know about thirds. I know about lots of other things too. And if you guys got one pumpkin, what would you do with it? That's easy. I take it and cut it down the middle to get two equal sized pieces. We'll split them between us so I'll get half and my friend would get half. 
goodness, tiny temple. You're a clever kid. I didn't realize you know so much about halves, but you understand it all. You get a half if you take many things and split them into two equal groups. And you also get halves if you take one thing and cut it into two equal parts. Well done, tiny temple. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mama Dege. Mathematics, mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat ugali, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you have gone far here's something else for you to count can you count the teeth in my mouth we can measure width length and depth and represent with x y and z math is used for everything just do the numbers in your head now try to add up all the spots on my neck how many do you see and i even use math to get leaves off the tree Let's look back to the sounds. S, A, T, I, P, N. This were this first book that we did before. And now you have start the second book. On the second book, you did the two letter sound. On the two letter sounds, the first two letters. Let's say, let me say the letter name. The first letter on the chart is C and K. Why are they together? Why are these sounds together? Why? Because they have the same sound or they produce the same sound. And what is the sound? And the K also have K, K. Good. Now, we say K. The C make K. Let's say cut. What is the word? Cut. What is the first sound? K. The sound is K. The sound is K. Let's go. Cut. Cut. And what is the sound? K. And what is the sound? K. Good. Now let's go. You have k, k. Still on the C, that is k. 
You have cake, cake, cake. Good. Now, let's continue. The K sound here. K. You still have the same sound. Both two letters have the same sound. They all produce K. K. Look at the K. 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 And looking at this, this is key. Key. K. Key. And this one is what? Kick. 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 Good. Now, let's try to write this sound first. What did we say? Let's everybody put his or her finger up. We say around. Again, around. There we go. Let's start it. Around. That is the C. Around. We try again. Around. Another. Around. Good. Now we see that every letter sound that we have to do, we must do the letter formation of O for that particular letter sound. So here is the C. It is what? Around. Let's go to the second k sound. That is the k. k. We say, put the fingers up, down, in, out. We try again. Down, in, and out. Let's put it here. Down, in, and out. There we go. Down, in, and out. Let's try it again. Down, in, and out. Another one. Down, in, and out. Good. These two letter sounds also have a song. Let's try to sing the song of this letter sound. That is the k sound. Let's say together. K, 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 k. Good. Now, let's look at the song. We are clicking castanets. This is how the song goes. We are clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets, clicking castanets, we are clicking castanets. Kites are flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. Can we sing together? Let's go. We are clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. Clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. Kites are flying in the sky. Cats are flying in the sky. Cats are flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Cats are flying in the sky. Good. Now let's move to the second sound. And that is the E sound. What is the sound? E. What is the sound? Let's say it again. E. The sound is E. What is this picture? Egg. What is it? Egg. This what? E. And the picture is egg. There we go. How do we write this letter sound? The E sound. What did we first do? Let's put our finger up. Across and 
around. We do it again. Across and around. Let's try to write it down. Across and around. There we go. Another. Across and around. Another one, please. Across and around. There we go. Across and around. Good. What did we do? We write the letter sound E. What is the sound E? What is the sound E? Now, let's move. Egg. This sound is E. What is this? Egg. This sound is E. We go. Now, let's try something else. We do the letter formation. Now, let's go to the story, uh, the song itself. Let's try this song. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. There we go. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. Crack thy egg like this, eh. We try it again. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. Crack thy egg like this, eh. And that's the song for eh. We do the two k, 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 what? Call. That is k, 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 k. And there is it. K, 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 k. Both has the same sound. And you have the e. Eh. These are the first two letter sounds in book two that you have already known. Now, to move to an, another sound, and that will be our today's lesson. Here, before we start, can we just hear the story? Listen to the story that I will read. Then after reading the story, tell me the sound that you hear most from the story. There we go. It is the school summer, holy, summer fun day. Some children are in the hopping race. It is a hot day. By the time they have finished, the children are huffing and puffing, saying, You hear the story? Can I read it once more? It is the school's summer fun day. Some children are in the hopping race. It is a hot day, and by the time they have finished, the children are huffing and puffing, saying, Which sound are you hearing? The sound is? Which sound do you must hear? Let's say it together. Again. And here is the sound. What is the sound? Let's say it. Everybody. Again. Now. What is next? Let's try to form this letter sound. Shall we try it? Let's put our hand up. Yes, down, up, over, down, and a flick. We try it again. Down, up, over, down, and a flick. Let's put it in writing. There we go. Down, up, over, down, and a flick. There we go again. Down, up, over, down, and a flick. We try it again. Down, up, 
over down and a flick. Another one. Down, up, over down and a flick. Let's try another one here. Down, up, over down and a flick. There we go. Good. What is the sound? What is the sound? What is the sound? Now, let's look at the sound here. The sound is what is the sound? What is the sound? As in what? Help, as in help, help. What is the sound? What is the sound? As in how, as in how. Let's go again. What is the sound? What is it? As in what? Horn, as in horn. Let's go again. What is the sound? Let's say it again, as in half. What is the word? Half. What is the sound? What is the sound? As in what? House. As in house. What is the sound? Let's say it again, as in hard. As in hard. What is the word? Hard. We go again. What is the sound? What is the sound? As in what? Hat. As in hat. What is the sound? What is it? As in what? Hip. Looking at this, you have words. And what are we looking for here? That is the sound. If you look at these words all, their initial sound is what? What is it? We say together, what is it? Good. Now, in, you must feel the air out from your mouth. You put your hand in front of your mouth, say the sound, and then you feel the air puffing out from your mouth. That is, let's do it again. We do it again. Help. Heart. Half. Hip. How. House. Horn. Hard. And the last one is what? Help. They all have the sound. Good. Let's try this other activity again using the same sound. The same sound. This time around, it's not words to sound marching, but it's what? Pictures to sound marching. Let's try it. There we go. It is what? Hand. It is what? Hand. Let's say, as in what? Hand. Hand. There it goes. As in hand. We try the other one again. The same sound. As in what? House. House. 
Let's go again. As in what? House. There we go. Let's look at this other picture. This what? Hen. You have? As in what? Hen. 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 Let's look at this other one. We have? As in what? Ho. 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 As in? Ho. Ho. Let's try this one. This one is hat. 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 What is the picture? Hat. Hat. Now, and the last picture is what? Hot. 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 There it goes. Let's go. Hand. House. Hen. Ho. Hat. Hot. Perfect. Now, let's look at hen. Where will this word go? To which picture here? There it goes. No. What is the word? Ho. The word is ho. Where will, go, will it go? Here. So you have ho. And this is ho. What is the sound? What is the sound? Good. Let's try this one again. This one is what? Ha. No. It is what? Hand. The word is hand. Where will it go? No. Where? Here. There it goes. It is hand. And what is the sound here? What is the sound? And you have hand. Let's try this one. What is the word? Hat. The word is hat. What is it? Hat. Where will you put the hat? Where? There it goes. It is what? Hat. The word is hat. What is the sound? What is the sound? Let's try this one. It is what? Hot. It is hot. What is it? Hot. Where will it go? There it goes. Here is the hot. What is the sound? What is the sound? Good. Now let's move ahead. What is this one? This is a house. This is house. This is house. Where will it go? Here it goes. And this is a house. What is it? House. What is the sound? What is the sound? And the last word is what? Hen. What is the word? Hen. Let's say it again. Hen. Where is the hen here? There is the hen. There it goes. What is the sound? As in what? Hen. As in what? House. As in hand. As in hot. As in hat. As in ho. Good. Now, can we try the song of this letter sound? And what is the letter sound? Let's say it together. Let's say it together. Good. Now, we try this song. The song is very interesting. If you are watching, be on your what? feet. So, so that we do some exercise. Shall we? I like to hop, 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 up and down. I like to hop, hop, up, all around. And then, there we go. I like to hop, 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 up and down. I like to hop, 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 all around. I like to hop, 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 up and down. <laughs> Here you'll be feeling air coming out from your mouth. 
Shall we try again? I like to hop, 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 up and down. I like to hop, 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 all around. I like to hop, 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 up and down. Good. That's what I have for you. Bye-bye. Till next time. In communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gumsel, Yaibarom. Albaka. <laughs> 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 Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.